Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. Let's finish up Turnabout Corner's Let's investigation. Out what we're doing. Because, honestly, the sooner we get for this case, the better. In my mind. Okay. All it's right. not as bad as I thought it could be. Oh, I think it's terrible. Is Phoenix it? Wright, are you done? Yay, He's you're done. He's finally done. Ju even though it's Director Hickfield. <laughs> June 16th, Hickfield Clinic. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright! Tell me what happened seven years ago. Please. I want to know. I need to know! You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Um... <laughs> what is with this music? It's the core music. The investigation core music. Is it? I haven't yeah. heard it till now. I thought we heard it earlier. No! Like, oh, it suddenly not. started on like, are we gonna get abducted by aliens? <laughs> no. <laughs> Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against pros Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. Wow! 17 years old? That's still high school! This is like Francisca. He took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know. Unlike in America. Oh my gosh, America. <laughs> I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. Um, that's, that's all? all? How could that be all? What do you mean? W what about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? He's like, there's that too. They said you forged evidence and you had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Where's Edgeworth in the meanwhile? Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? How, how does it feel? I, I don't want to believe it's true. But what about what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jumping to my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence, maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But, but! I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright! Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery, for now. There's probably a case in his office, like, of it. Possibly. This is a stick-up. <laughs> oh. It's refreshing to be so thoroughly ignored for a change. I was gonna be like, this is a stick-up and present the knife. And we found these too! They're trucies! Thanks, Apollo. Though, I have to admit, as a father, I wonder, why are you still carrying my daughter's panties around in your pocket? That'll teach me to show off my evidence <laughs> to Mr. Wright. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> yeah. We got him! Just a bit, just a bit weird. Um, I think that's actually Well, bye. Bye. Yeah, let's, like, search this place. No, go back. What? Shouldn't we search this place for, like, we a file about him? No, I'm saying back to Wright Agency. I thought you were going to, like, start moving again. We're in here. Where would we Examine. look for a file? In the bookshelf. Some magic books are mixed in with the law books here. Same thing. The magic books all look well used, but the law books are just gathering dust. I feel kind of sorry for them. Maybe I'll read some next time I'm around. You're here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Sorry. Where else would it be? It's not going to be at El Doom's house. It's not going to be at the Kataki Mansion. Unless if the mob was somehow involved with the previous crime. Wait a second. What? The park? Did we examine this too early? Because we got the the print from the like hole that had the leaf in it. Now we can examine this. The bottom's covered with paint! Huh? What's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. 
So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. Ah, I got paint on my hand. Paula, I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cut on my cape. Oh, I think you. Maybe not. We didn't present these slippers to her. Yeah, we did. She's like, oh, there's a toe print in there. But do we have another toe print that we we'll can We'll present look it again, just in case. Oh, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there. Toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe let's check the garage again. Maybe. There's a way to get Emma to let us into the clinic. Okay. I just can't remember. I think how. we have to go back. Well, no, we have to. Okay, dude, we have to link the um park to. Th that's what we have to do. Remember, there's the guy standing yeah. outside. We have to link it to that by going over and then examining. A police car is parked in front of the Maractus Clinic. It's empty. The police must be inside investigating. So walk in. The front entrance to the Maractus Clinic. The walls and posts are so highly polished, I can see my face in them. Wait, my hair is a little flat. There, perfect. <laughs> no, nothing there, nothing doing. Yeah, the investig this he is one of the investigation brought, periods that like it's hard to figure out he what He said to if do we and brought where. evidence that links the incident in the Maractus Clinic to the incident in the park, he'd let us in. So maybe we Oh wait, hang on a second. Do we just have to examine it? We might. The tarps that were here yesterday are gone. I wonder why Detective Sky put them out. Yeah, the only thing they were covering is the ground. Oh! You know, I think I see something there. A print! A uh, print? Oh, is that it? Can maybe I talk? Maybe I need to talk to her some more. Oh, wow. Never mind. This print's far too smooth to- oh, I just realized who it was. This print's far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It's a shoe print of some kind, though, that's for sure. That's oh. Trucy. Ugh! Stop changing dialogue! <laughs> it's a shoe print of some kind, though, that's for sure. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Aldo noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind? Something that might have left this mystery shoe print? This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. Okay, now it'll work. That's dumb that you have to examine it, though. No, we didn't. We literally just talked to her again. Hmm, no idea. Sorry. But that bubble wasn't there until after we examined it. Oh, that ground. is weird. Too bad. I wonder what that is. Something's familiar about that smooth surface. So smooth, it's almost slippery. Well, if you think of something, I'm all ears. I'm pretty sure I've seen something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have our culprit right here. <laughs> the underwear. She's like... You know what I'm eating? Um, snacks? Snacks. More precisely, whenever I'm in a bad mood, I eat chocolate snackoos. I have no idea. I think she means you picked the wrong evidence, Apollo. I had no idea. <laughs> 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 chocolate snackoos are amazing. <laughs> Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? Well, look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint! Except for... See? Right here? Hey, that spot's shaped like a leaf! What if a leaf was stuck on the bottom and it came off when the slipper stepped in paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic! Exactly! The Victim's Clinic! Wait, that means that someone from the clinic was involved. Why is she just standing there eating chocolate snack -oos? <laughs> Um, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. W what? Can you get us access into the Maractus Clinic? The police won't let us in. They say the mur it's the murder and the clinic aren't connected. And it's off limits until we prove they are. Uh, I should be able to do something for you, yeah. Eh? Really? Well, you did my work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favor. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Detective Sky's order is added to the court record. Right! Maractus Clinic, here comes justice! This is a really weird investigation theme. I think it's really good, though. I think it's good, it's just very strange. When Wait. you said alien music, I was thinking of the Majora's Mask music. <laughs>
<laughs> June sixteenth, Eldun's house. That what voice did I? There, you two again. Yeah. <laughs> when oh when will you learn? Look at me, however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. What's this? Detective Sky! I have such a huge crush on her. <laughs> uh, yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin, today it's Detective Sky. Who are you two? Really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. Thank you, Mr. Brain. Thank you. Oh, wait, that's the garage. <laughs> now we can get in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a fatty bear doll in there. That would be great. That would be great. Oh, I was ex- Aw, I'm, I'm disappointed. Maractus Clinic Reception. I was expecting the entire lobby to be lined in gold. <laughs> like, just straight up gold. Huh, kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it! The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived, looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Look at them high heels. Look at all these bulbs. They're from Eldoon's Noodles. They're Mr. Salty. Then I think we figured it's something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Trucy. Check out them heels. Damn heels. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would it be- why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that came to see Mr- or Dr. Maractus. You'd think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if this patient or visitor isn't still here... Why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these just in case. Sandals added to the court record. These must be the slippers for patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. And ours have paint on the bottoms. Which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right. The paint's from the hit and run, after all. But what, what, were, what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in that trash can? Mm. And what were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? So for context for you, people will have slippers and stuff in Japan. So it's like you come in, you take off your shoes, and you put on those shoes to walk around the main area. See how What's it's kind of- What's that to do with this? This is America, very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see how there's like the different level? Yeah, that, yeah. Like once it goes up, that's where you put on the slippers. So it's really weird that somebody had those slippers outside of the place. Like, you uh, either were super drunk or something and you walked out with their slippers, or you had to, like, make a break for it or something. Mm -hmm. The clinic reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. Wow! Brutal, but effective. <laughs> Gosh. This door says doctor's office. Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Like those little bike locks. Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Uh, Apollo, that sound, it came from behind the door. Someone's in there. Well, let's check it out, Trucy. This is how people get A break-in! They left through the window! Wait, Apollo. You're too late to catch them now. That must be her experience as a panty snatcher, Chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. Y you're right. She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case is looking pretty related now. The good as Von Karma didn't stay behind to tase us this time. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm like, this is how people get tased. Books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess! This is worse than Daddy's room! The burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on its side. Huh? The juice that spilled out of that cup, it's dry. So, the messy one was in our burglar just now? Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. Huh. Interesting. This potted plant has seen better days. Hmm. That doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? 
normally burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I were a burglar. So why look under a potted plant? Maybe they were looking for the key to the safe. I've heard of people putting their house keys under plants, but the key to a safe? Then maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. This is getting nowhere fast. What are all these, like, grain jars? Whoa! What are those? The wall is covered with beakers. Yeah, something's moving inside that one. You look, Apollo. Uh, hey, look yourself! You can't... Oh. It's a goldfish. Wow, they're all fish! So many kinds! Whoever designed this had a sick sense of humor. They honestly look like all of the experiment, like, 427s or whatever from Lilo and Stitch. You mean all the experiments? Yeah, but I can't remember what Stitch's number is. 626. Never mind. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken! Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. But why is it standing up on the floor like that, then? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splotch on the part of that cord. You think that's... blood? It's a little bright for blood. Almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. Lamp added to the court record. I know we didn't pick it up, but I'm just all every time we pick up evidence, I always like am imagining just like, like he puts Phoenix Wright like shoving a lamp inside his coat. My personal favorite is in case two four where Azure puts the giant stuffed bear in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the window is ajar. That must be how our burglar escaped. I wonder who it was. Maybe it was just a burglar who happened to pick here? Yeah, but there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month myself. Whoever broke in obviously needed to break in today. What a cute little safe. Hmm. Looks like a four-digit lock. Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. S Seven, nine... Wait, do you think? That burglar just now was trying to open it? I wonder what's inside this safe. Hmm, is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record? Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. Hmm, I wonder. We must have something. That would be a bit too much luck. That would be a bit too lucky, don't you think? Well, I suppose. If only there was something that could finger which buttons have been pressed. Something that could finger which buttons were pressed, huh? Maybe there is a way after all. Well, I have an idea. I knew it, Apollo! What is it? Well, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. I'm not sure how that's gonna help us. Neither am I, come to think of it. If only there was something that could finger which buttons have been pressed. When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print! When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, right? So if we can find the buttons with fingerprints... We'll have the safe code. Not bad, Apollo. It is so slow doing this on an emulator. <gasps> Oh, come on! <laughs> that was totally We know up. which ones it is. Question is, which order is it? <gasps> I always get the order wrong every time. Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Look at seven and nine. These are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. Okay, there's a seven, nine... Two and five. Two and five. Do you think it's two, five or five, two? I always get it wrong. I still don't remember what it, what it is. I'm trying to think about... Why are you getting... Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just trying to think, like, mathematically when you make a password. Seven plus two is nine... Minus three, or no. I don't know, just pick two numbers.
Every time. Every freaking time. I wondered, but okay. Got it. Code confirmed. There's a lucky it cat. It opened! Lucky cat and a million folders. No clues here. That's a lucky cat! What are you talking about? This looks like a bullet hole! Hmm, you can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Hey, the bullet came out! The tip's all squished. Not surprising, given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Bullet added to the court record. I said examine this. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray? Hmm, can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either, it's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient, it says... Walkie Kitaki! So this is Walkie, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be here in the safe? Let's see, the physician's signature says Palmaractus. Eh? What is it, Paulo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Let's see. Nurse Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala is Walkie's fiance! That's one Ita too many, Apollo Low. <laughs> Never mind that! What's her name doing here? How should I know? Though, I guess it means she's on staff here at this clinic? Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So Alita Tiala was worked at the Maractus Clinic. And she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart. You got the I and the Y wrong, Apollo. 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 <laughs> I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? Walkie's chart added to oh, the Oh, I wonder who. Maybe the guy who eats noodles that, um, is also a doctor. Nah. <laughs> not him. Sandalos. That, yeah, those are probably Alita Tiala's shoes. Hey, Apollo! You think this is... Huh. This could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Let's try it out. <laughs> So boring. Hey, it worked! That looks like a big toe, maybe? But wait! I mean, it's great that we got the print, but is there such a thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means, we can't match this print. This seems like a good time to ask a detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. Very hideous lamp. I was gonna say it was pretty. Um, oh. you know, there was one thing you could examine. Go back up. Or that. This cord runs to the lamp. It has a red stain on it. Hmm, kinda wonder what left that stain. Wait, I know. Maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic robes. That was the, other thing. the bulb is broken. It won't turn on. Oh, how's it broken? Don't touch that. You'll cut yourself. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. My finger! Ah! You're bleeding! Let me see that. Wait. Magic blood. <laughs> gotcha. Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my coworkers injuring themselves on the evidence. Yeah. Trucy's a kind of a troll. Ballistic markings. Wow, it's all mushed. That was one tough safe. You know, it looks kind of yummy. Huh? Like ice cream. Mmm, caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. I thought it looked like a muffin. Walkie's chart found in Maractus Clinic safe signed by Nurse Alita Tiala. Okay. Wait, no, go back. I, I'm great at reading these. You, you can barely even read what the people are saying sometimes. Okay, but Marty. I've gone to the doctor before. Okay. You've got your nurse. Yep, physician. Walkie is a male. Walkie's a male. He's 19. They forgot to put down his height and weight. Shame on them. Um, Yo, dog. Ain't no one gonna know how heavy I am. Yeah. See? <laughs> Full lodge near heart with a signature. That's like the most basic. Okay. Do these people even know what it's like to go to the doctors? You go to the doctors and they're like, please fill out these seven pages of your life story. 
and they like hand it to you and then they're like what symptoms in triple k what sim- like symptoms have you been having you're like well okay i like it's like well i have mild acne maybe it's cancer yeah, like... <laughs> that's web md <laughs> yeah kind of and then you're and then they're like oh turns out you just like have acne go to the dermatologist okay that'll be like five hundred dollars <laughs> yep June 16th, detention center, the visitor's room. I wish we could break psych locks. That'd be fun. <sighs> Sorry. Well, the time of our decision is upon us. Which one of our two jailbirds do we want to talk to? Excuse me. Both detainees are currently in questioning to corroborate their accounts. Mr. Stickler and Walkie, both of them? I pity the questioner. I guess we'll be back then. Don't listen to anything this man has to say. Yo, this guy's wet! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they together, then, talking? Together again, again. Gee, it's good to be together okay, again, people park. again. People park. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Oh, yeah, we never called the police on the break-in. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Next, she'll have us analyzing face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. Ah, the slippers. Yeah, yeah. There is. There's way. Got one. I think I just might actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. Detective Scott, can you compare this sample with this other print? I def there's definitely toe prints on my attorney's badge. I've stepped on it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I did say toe print sample, didn't I? I stepped on it. <laughs> Where exactly is the toe print on this evidence? Oops, stormy skies ahead. Try again, scientifically, this time, if you would. Hmm, a toe print. Right. This pair of sandals, toe print and all. Ooh, the print on these is nice and clear, too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course. Hang on. Bingo. Gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. Perfect match. Same person wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth! I mean, I think Alita Tiala broke in. I think she's the one who broke in, and then... That's why she left her shoes there. Mm -hmm. And then she's basically... She and Kitaki are like, okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense, though. Alita broke in through the window in the back, went all the way to the lobby, changed her shoes. <laughs> no, no, she broke in through... Past the police car through the front door? No. Yes. She... No, so she works there. So she walks It's under the investigation. Door. Nobody's there right she now. She works there. She could be like, hey, I left my jacket. Is that cool? And they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. She goes into the office. She's like, hey, I've got my, like, things. I, I set the lamp on fire. I, like, did all this stuff. And then she breaks through the window because she knows people are inside about to come in. She breaks out okay, that Hannah, way. Okay, I'm sorry. Set the lamp on fire? I just said that, okay? <laughs> okay? It's fine. But anyway, I think the reason she's the one who broke in is because she and Walkie are, like, kind of in together to be, like, abolish this doctor. Okay, And they want money, and they're like, oh, we can get married, and then we can, like, set things straight with between, like, the doctor and our families and stuff. Mm hmm June 16th, detention center visitor's room. Don't cry, Angel! Daddy's back! Daddy's! Oh, you again! Do you always have to announce your entrances like that? Man, my old man, he... Man... No, I'm on a funk, and it's all his fault. One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson, and failed, clearly. You two got your work cut out for you straight up! Of course I don't care if they lock me up, I'm ready to go! Some days I wonder why I do what I do. At least we know, like, if we fail, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, his dad's gonna be like, My son was innocent and you got him guilty. <laughs> That's not gonna be good for you, capiche. <laughs> well, what if we just, like, hang out in a big crowd so that way the mob won't take us down? Because if the mob is starting to take down somebody in the midst of, like, a judge room, they'll be like, Stop It's called the a mob. courtroom. Yeah, courtroom, yep. <laughs> hey, man, you won't see me bugging about Leonard Toon with guilty charges. 
what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, Shorty? Like a badge of honor. They don't give the death penalty, do they? You didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If I learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. Man, my old man is whack. Disappointing, that's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob. Over my dead body? I spent my life trying to keep it real being an OG and never stepped down. Now my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. <sighs> day I get out of the clink, that's the day Alita and I start the next generation of the Kataki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail, for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's in jail. He'll be going to prison if he... Walkie, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do! You know, I was the one who bought them for her. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, a birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad. So cute, man. So these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. What's up with the funky vibes? <sighs> sandals updated in the court record. They're now elite sandals. Does that mean she was there in the park? <laughs> what, what is up with this animation? <laughs> it's like when you're playing like Street Fighter and the characters are like, FIGHT! And they're standing still. <laughs> Walking for Street Fighter V. That's already out. Walking for Street Fighter VI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Street not up Fighter... on my Street Fighter. No, but Street Fighter V, wasn't that the one that Link got on his... I thought that was four. And... Nah, maybe you're right. But we got it for like a weekend. Because Wait. they had a downloaded... What? Wait. I thought, Where's I thought the... we did everything. Where's the noodle man? No, but he needs to read the documents to like assume the stuff. Ooh, maybe we still have more to present to this guy. Present the... Oh, the chart. Huh? What's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie. It's yours. Hey, look! I don't smoke or nothing! I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. I love how even Walkie, who's like, kind of a terrible person and like, doesn't care about anything, he's like, dude, smoking's terrible for you! Don't yeah. do it! Smoking! Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, take a closer look here in particular- Oh yeah, duh. Here in particular, where it says nurse, it's signed Alita Tiala. Huh. You lawyers do your homework. So, you met Miss Tiala when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic. So, could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting? Fine, fine. I'll, I'll tell you how you met if you want to know that bad. Cool. About half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me, hauled me off to the docks. The Maractus Clinic? That's where I met her. My fallen angel. You mean Alita Tiala? She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say? The bad guy always gets the ladies. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangsta style. Guess what she said? What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet like I'm the down bow. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. So, that was the proposal? You know it! An oath of love right there in the hospital room. That's a bit ridiculous! Just like that, the op was done and we were out of there! See you later, bye! Um, about that op. Yeah, didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report, I know it's still in me. Wonder if those uh, go hand in hand. This health checkup was the boss's idea, you said? Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G, you know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet at that checkup? Yeah. That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get that cap pulled out after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, ain't I? Incidentally, had you ever had a health checkup before? Nah, my old man suddenly gets this idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess get old. Older, I mean. I mean, maybe get some of your shots. <laughs> you haven't had the chicken pox, like... Dude, I don't believe in vaccines! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently! I shouldn't open that can of worms. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> ah, here we go. June 16th, Eldoon's house. Mr. Eldoon, we've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Trucy doll? Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. Uh, I suppose he is a doctor still. <laughs>
Mr. Aldoon, is everything okay? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Aldoon. Oh, it's all the same maybe stuff. Maybe we need to present it to him. Maybe. Just maybe. Um, Mr. Aldoon, could you take a look at this? Hmm? A medical chart? Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Eldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. That chart belongs to my client. He's on trial. On suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy. He can't be put on trial. He's ABD. ABD? All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. C can you tell us why? Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. He did have a bowl of noodles on his head. <laughs> well, according to this chart, this walkie-kitaki feller is not doing so well. He's got a bullet right up outside his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see that bullet stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is, it was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet's snug as a bug right there next to his aorta, which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to either side and there'd be some serious bleeding going on there. Not something your average doc would be eager to fiddle with. You mean... It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. Um, I'm only up to making d rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and the lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I'd give him another half a year, tops. But, but Waki's operation was already a half a year ago! That's why I'm saying you're out of time! This kid shouldn't be on trial, he should be on an operating table. Great. Just great. Yeah, I wondered about that. How could Dr. Maractus do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? See, I'm- the, the gear- the wheels in my head have been turning, you yeah. see? And I think that now, actually, I think this gal's, like, gonna have him murdered. Cause she's like, oh my gosh, you know what would be great? Like, let's have our wedding on this day, <laughs> this many months later, it'll be great. And then he's dead by the time the wedding's there, and then she gets all the money from um him or wait does that not happen if you don't actually get if you're married? not married by the time he dies married, then you don't okay, get any of maybe, his money maybe it's like just the right amount of times so that they're married and then like not so then she's like the mob head and she's like whoa <laughs> <laughs> that's your theory okay interesting could be could be i got a pretty good idea of how he felt an emergency operation he's got the kid's chest open on the table then he finds that bullet that's despair right there trucy doll Cold despair. Despair. About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in the situation to go admit and he couldn't take it out. The Kitakis. You bet. This kid's their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walks back on the street living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. How awful. And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to them, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible! He left Walkie to die! There's a darkness in this world, Trucy doll. Waiting. Hungry. Compared to it, these Gaines Turf Wars are all kid games. When you're up against real evil, well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong, it'll take you all the same. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Aldin? You could operate on Walkie, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So... So lucky... He's real lucky to be alive even now. No. There's one problem. Apollo? This chart. Look at the nurse section. Omita Tiala. That's right! The operation was how they met! Yeah, the problem is, she knew. 
She knew about Waki's condition, guaranteed. Uh. Why didn't she ever tell him? Doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, you'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. What was she thinking, Apollo? What were you thinking, Alita Tiala? Murder. Like I said. Hey, y'all, I'm just going to kill him. Get engaged, get married, have him die. In that mob, order. Mob leader. It has to happen in that mob order. Mob leader. Though. Like, that's how it happens. <laughs> All right, that's Marty's Fury. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're going to court. Who knows next what's going to happen? Next time, yeehaw with all the prairie dogs. Next time with the A1 sauce <laughs> and the skitters. <laughs> you, you had a slight southern accent to, to, to Alita. That was not a slight southern accent to Alita. <laughs> no, it, it was to see you next time. See you next time, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.